comfortably, just beginning with a nice big deep breath, breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. So eyes open, a soft focus. As you breathe out, you can allow the breath to return to its natural rhythm. But just keep the eyes open for a moment. Just focusing in on one particular object within your field of vision. Not staring at it too intently, still aware of the space around you. But just gently focusing on that one object. And then just slowly zooming back out again as you blink a few times with the eyes. A uh, candle is lit. That reminds us what Jesus said. What did Jesus say? That's right. I am the light of the world. We're listening to hip hop music and here is the Christian hip hop band Cross Movement with their song Wise Men. I'm on a road dog, got my backpack mats and my road dogs. If you can see what we see, you would want to go where we're going just to be where we'll be. In the presence of more than a baby, more the Lord who can save you and save me. It's still not clear Let wise men open your eyes and take you there The sky was clear that night, right? Cold, crisp air Yeah, and the stars was mad bright Remember that, y'all? But there was that one star that was shining brighter than them all I remember, wasn't it December? That's the wrong date But it did put an end to our long wait Cause we were getting restless while we waited For a special child with a mom highly favored No more singing the blues We knew the sky signified the coming of the king of the Jews We studied the script Next step was to study the trip Packed up, we were ready to dip Ready to roll Wasn't even sweating the cold We were convinced of his hotness Ready to go Don't forget the planks to anchor the tents And with the gold Grab myrrh and some frankincense Let's go I'm on a road dog, got my backpack mats and my road dogs If you can see what we see, you will wanna go where we're going Just to be where we'll be In the presence of more than a baby Or the Lord who can save you and save me Or maybe if it's still not clear Let wise men open your eyes and take you Okay, today's the 20th So let's see what's inside my advent calendar Ooh, some fire Who would have thought it? Some fire. Fantastic. Brilliant. You can go there. It, ooh, I won't touch that though, it's hot. Yeah, my nativity scene's looking good. Let's take the time now to think a little deeper about what Jesus meant when he said, I am the light of the world. We all know the real reason we celebrate Christmas, because of the birth of Jesus. Now at Christmas, Jesus came into the world that needed saving. People everywhere needed hope that all the mistakes they had made, all the stuff that they had done wrong, wouldn't keep them from God. See, we needed God's rescue plan, a savior, someone to go between us and God and say, I'll pay for all the wrong that we've all done so that we can be friends with God. And that, that go between, that savior, that rescue plan was Jesus. Now, another way to put it is that the world was dark and that it needed light. See, Jesus came into our dark world when we needed him most, and he gave us hope for a future. He gave us light. John 8, 12 said, again, Jesus spoke to them saying, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. That's pretty cool. Today, I have a few things here with me. I have this power source or this battery, and I also have this little light bulb here. 
It's so tiny, isn't it so cute? Now, remember that Jesus said that he is the light of the world, but then Jesus goes on to tell us that we are the light of the world. In Matthew 5:14, Jesus said, "You are the light of the world, a city on a hill that cannot be hidden." Now, how did that happen? How did we go from Jesus being the light of the world to us being the light of the world? We're going to look at that here together. So, this battery or power source represents God or really God's Holy Spirit. And this cute little light bulb now is us because Jesus said that we are the light of the world. But if I just touch the two together, the battery and the little light, nothing happens. There's no light. You really can't see anything. There's no way for us to produce the light we need, no matter how hard we try. We can't do enough good things or be good enough to get this light on our own. But when Jesus arrived, the rescue plan, everything changed. Let me show you what I mean. So we know that this battery is God or the power of the Holy Spirit. Now I have this little light bulb right here that still represents us. But now we have this wire, this copper wire that is going to connect the Holy Spirit, the power of the Holy Spirit to us. See, that's what Jesus did. This wire represents Jesus. So now when I touch those two things together, now we are the light of the world. See, Jesus brings the light to our lives and allows us to be connected to God and filled with his Holy Spirit. Now we are the light of the world. Let's continue our journey around the world at Christmas time. Because Australia is in the Southern Hemisphere, Christmas Day falls in the middle of summer. The only parts of Australia that receive snow are Victoria and Tasmania, and this is restricted to the months of June to September. As such, Australia has adopted very unique Christmas traditions. It is not unheard of for people to make sandmen rather than snowmen, and a large gathering of surfing Santas usually takes place on Christmas. Carols are sung, and many Australians decorate their houses with lights and wreaths. Christianity arrived in Wales long after ancient Celtic beliefs had already existed for thousands of years, rather than these Celtic traditions being replaced entirely by Christian ones. They merged with one another to create something new. One of these old Celtic traditions is the Mari Luid. The Mari Luid is a horse head carried on a pole. The person who carries it is hidden by a sheet. The Mari Luid and a group of others go from house to house, knocking on people's doors. In song form, the Mari Luid requests entrance to the home, and you must reply back to it, also in song form, reasons why it should not be let in. The Mari Luid supposedly brings good luck. The Falkland Islands are a British overseas territory located off the coast of South America. The islands support a population of around 3,000 people, most of which live in the capital, Stanley, and 150,000 sheep. Because of the abundance of sheep, Lamb is the preferred Christmas delicacy. People gather in prayer in the world's southernmost Anglican church and sing carols under Whalebone Arch. For the people who live outside Stanley, small gift boxes are sent to them from the capital. Due to the island's lack of forests, most Christmas trees are artificial. Many Austrian traditions are similar to that of Germany, but there are many unique traditions that Austria participates in. In villages and cities alike, it is common for Christmas markets to be held in the town center. Here, many Christmas-themed items can be purchased, such as food, Glühwein, a sweet-tasting mulled wine, and various Christmas decorations. The big cities, such as Innsbruck, Vienne, and Salzburg, hold very large Christmas markets, which attract visitors from all over the world. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, time for a prayer. And if you'd like this prayer to be your prayer, it's arm at the end. You're welcome to look at the candle flame where you can put your hands and your eyes together. That helps you to reflect. And if this prayer is not for you, I'd like you to sit and reflect and think. What acts of kindness can you afford to give? And today's prayer is the Lord's Prayer. And the words will appear on the screen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Well, that concludes our collective worship for today. Remember, work hard, be kind, look after yourselves. And I'll see you around school.